They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. I have tried to serve faithfully, to understand the burden I was meant to carry. That is always a struggle. You're not sure about this? There's no faith without doubt, yet I believe this is the only path before us. There would be no Inquisition without you. How it will serve, how you lead, that must be yours to decide. Corypheus will never let me live in peace. He made that clear. He intends to be a god, to rule over us all. Corypheus must be stopped. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the work. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? <laughs> So this is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Uh, everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, so I, I sent a message to an old friend. She's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. She can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated.
Well, uh, we stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. Impressive view. Reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first, but after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. If I thought like that, I'd never get anything done. How do you put it out of your head? I go out into the wilderness and find something that wants to kill me. That usually clears my mind. It always worked for me. And speaking of things that want to kill you... Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible, but we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was bread. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the Lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. And where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the Rebellion. We thought that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to hunt for us. But all the Circles were rising up by then. We helped a lot of them take that final step. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's all to Vinter magic. But he was dead, I swear it. I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? Complicated. It's not like the minstrels make it out to be. He's not just a monster, or a hero. Or maybe he's both. He was trying to change the world. He knew it couldn't happen peacefully. I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the Free Marches. I'm never really happy leaving Anders alone. But once I realized Wardens were acting strangely, I had no choice. I've seen Corypheus affect Anders' mind before. If he was involved, I couldn't risk it happening again. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. 
Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now! We set up as best we could at Haven, but could never prepare for an archdemon, or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have... We were all shaken by what happened. If Corythia strikes again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but has improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone, although it must feel like it. We needed a leader, and you have proven yourself. Thank you, Cullen. Our escape from Haven, it was close. I'm relieved that you, that so many, made it out. As am I. You stayed behind. You could have... I will not allow the events at Haven to happen again. You have my word. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. Whatever it is, I'm willing to listen. Right. Thank you. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of Lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. You've never complained. Why would I? I chose this. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to... watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. Yes? Is there anything I should know? I'd gotten used to mages disliking me on principle. Vivienne's views on Templars are surprisingly traditional. I've never disliked you on principle. Oh, um, thank you. Did you leave anyone behind in Kirkwall? No. I fear I made few friends there, and my family's in Ferelden. No one special caught your interest? Not in Kirkwall. That's all for now. I'm sure you have other matters to attend. Gloat all you like. I have this one. Are you sassing me, Commander? I didn't know you had it in you. Why do I even... Inquisitor. Leaving, are you? Does this mean I win? Are you two playing nice? I'm always nice. You need to come to terms with my inevitable victory. You'll feel much better. Really? Because I just won, and <laughs> I feel fine. Don't get smug. There will be no living with you. I should return to my duties as well. Unless you would care for a game. Prepare the board, Commander. As a child, I played this with my sister. She would get this stuck-up grin whenever she won, which was all the time. My brother and I practiced together for weeks. 
Oh, the look on her face the day I finally won. And between serving the Templars and the Inquisition, I haven't seen them in years. I wonder if she still plays. You have siblings? Two sisters and a brother. Where are they now? They moved to South Reach after the Blight. I do not write to them as often as I should. Ah, oh, it's my turn. All right, let's see what you've got. This may be the longest we've gone without discussing the Inquisition or related matters. To be honest, I appreciate the distraction. We should spend more time together. I would like that. Me too. You said that. We should finish our game, right? My turn? I believe this one is yours. Well played. We shall have to try again sometime. Did you need something? I thought we could talk. Alone. Alone? I mean, of course. It's a nice day. What? It's... There was something you wished to discuss. Cullen, I care for you, and... Uh... <sighs> What's wrong? You left the Templars, but do you trust mages? Could you think of me as anything more? I could. I mean, I, I do think of you, and what I might say in this sort of situation. What's stopping you? You're the Inquisitor. We're at war, and you... I didn't think it was possible. And yet I'm still here. So you are. It seems too much to ask, but I want to. Commander! You wanted a copy of Sister Leliana's report. What? Sister Leliana's report? You wanted it delivered without delay. Or... To your office. Right. If you need to... I'm sorry. That was, um, really nice. That was what I wanted. Oh. Good. Yes. Do you have some time? Of course. The Commander of the Inquisition and the Herald of Andraste. That will have people talking. Oh, you wouldn't believe how quickly gossip spreads through the barracks. Does it bother you? I would rather my... our private affairs remain that way. But if there were nothing here for people to talk about... I would regret it more. The day you kissed me on the battlements, how long had you wanted to do that? <laughs> Longer than I should admit. You don't have much patience for nobility. I'm glad my title didn't scare you off. I hadn't considered. I have no title outside the Inquisition. I hope that doesn't... I mean, does it bother you? No. If you care for me, that's all that matters. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot. I'm not very good at this, am I? If I seem unsure, it's because it's been a long time since I've wanted anyone in my life. I wasn't expecting to find that here. Or you. Think you could slip away? I believe so. Wait for me.
you made it. I just got here myself. My contact with the warden should be at the back of the cave. He's not the only warden around here. It's a good thing his friends didn't find him in Crestwood. Yes, I saw them earlier. They've been told he's a traitor and ordered to capture or kill him. How much blood is shed by good men following bad orders? Just us. I brought the Inquisitor. My name is Stroud, and I'm at your service, Inquisitor. I'll take all the help I can get. I know the Wardens have troubles of their own. I wonder, though, might those troubles have anything to do with Corypheus? Mm, I fear it is so. When my friend Hawk slew Corypheus, Weishaupt was happy to put the matter to rest. But an archdemon can survive wounds that seem fatal, and I feared Corypheus might possess the same power. My investigation uncovered clues, but no proof. Then, not long after, every warden in Orlais began to hear the calling. Maker, why didn't you tell me? It was a Grey Warden matter. I was bound by an oath of secrecy. Is the calling some sort of Grey Warden ritual? The calling tells a warden that the blight will soon claim him. Starts with dreams. Then come whispers in his head. The warden says his farewells and goes to the deep roads to meet his death in combat. And every Grey Warden in Orlais is hearing that right now. They think they're dying. Yes. Likely because of Corypheus. If the wardens fall, who will stand against the next blight is our greatest fear. So, Corypheus isn't controlling them. He's bluffing them with this calling, and they're falling for it. Is the calling they're hearing real, or is Corypheus mimicking it somehow? I know not. Even as a senior warden, I had heard only the vaguest whispers of Corypheus. The wardens believe that this calling is real, and they will act accordingly. That is all we know for certain. You said all the Wardens are hearing the calling. Does that include you? And also you, Blackwall? Sadly, yes. It lurks like a wolf in the shadows around a campfire. The creature that makes this music has never known the love of the Maker, but... at times, I almost understand it. We must uncover what Corypheus has done and end it. This cannot stand. I do not fear the calling. And worrying about it only gives it power. Anything Corypheus does will only strengthen my resolve. How can Corypheus make all these wardens hear the calling? I cannot say. We know little about him save that he is dangerous. He is a magister as well as a dark spawn, and speaks with the voice of the Blight. That lets him affect the minds of wardens, since we are tied to the Blight ourselves. It must be how he created this false calling. So the Wardens are making some last, desperate attack on the Darkspawn? We are the only ones who can slay Archdemons. Without us, the next Blight will consume the world. Warden Commander Clarell spoke of a blood magic ritual to prevent future Blights before we all perished. When I protested the plan as madness, my own comrades turned on me. Grey Wardens are gathering here, in the Western Approach. It is an ancient Tevinta ritual tower. Meet me there, and we will find answers. I'm glad you made it, Inquisitor. I fear they've already started the ritual. It has to be blood magic. We can stop them before more people get hurt. You take point. 
I'll guard your backs. Wait! No! Warden Commander Clarell's orders were clear. This is wrong! Remember your oath. In war, victory. In peace, vigilance. In death. I'm sorry. Sacrifice! Oh. Visitor, what an unexpected pleasure. Lord Livius Eremond de Virantium, at your service. You are no warden. But you are. The one Clarell let slip. And you found the Inquisitor and came to stop me. Shall we see how that goes? It looks like you've already done some of my work for me. What, him? We simply needed his blood. Oh, were you hoping to garner sympathy? Maybe make the Wardens feel a bit of remorse? Wardens, hands up! Hands down! Corypheus has taken their minds. They did this to themselves. You see, the calling had the Wardens terrified. They looked everywhere for help. Even to Vinter. Yes, and since it was my master who put the calling into their little heads, we in the Venatori were prepared. I went to Clarell full of sympathy, and together we came up with a plan. Raise a demon army, march into the deep roads, and kill the old gods before they wake. Ah, oh, I was wondering when the demon army would show up. You knew about it, did you? Well then, here you are. Sadly for the Wardens, the binding ritual I taught their mages has a side effect. They are now my master's slaves. This was a test. Once the rest of the Wardens complete the ritual, the army will conquer Thedas. You think you can stand against me with just demons and a Fade Rift? Did Corypheus not mention what I did to the Breach? He did. He also noted what he did to you at Haven. The Elder One showed me how to deal with you. And you've been foolish enough to interfere again. That mark you bear, the anchor that lets you pass safely through the Veil, you stole that from my master. He's been forced to seek other ways to access the Fade. When I bring him your head, his gratitude will be... Ah! reason you were correct through their ritual the mages are slaves to correct you. and the warden warriors of course sacrificed in the ritual what a waste eremond lied to the wardens they were trying to prevent future blights with blood magic and human sacrifice the wardens were wrong Orc. But they had their reasons. All blood mages do. Everyone has a story they tell themselves to justify bad decisions. And it never matters. In the end, you are always alone with your actions. 
I believe I know where the Wardens are, Your Worship. Eriman fled in that direction. There's an abandoned Warden fortress that way. Adamant. Good thinking. The Warden and I will scout out Adamant and confirm that the other Wardens are there. We'll meet you back at Skyhold. I tracked that Venatory mage back to Adamant Fortress. They're looking at assault options now in the war room. Thanks for coming. You did well, Varric. The Inquisitor is just who we need. Oh, it's, it's been great. Murderous wardens, archdemon attacks, plenty of blood mages and crazy Templars. Just like home. I know how much you hated leaving Kirkwall. This is the ass end of Thetis. You know they eat snails here? Still, I, I think I, uh, I need to finish this out. And if it weren't for me and Bartrand, none of this would have happened. So much for changing our lives. And that's what happens when you try to change things. Things change. You can't always control how. I tracked the Wardens to Adamant Fortress Inquisitor. Your specialists have my full report. Adamant Fortress has stood against the Darkspawn since the time of the Second Blight. Fortunately for us, that means it was built before the age of modern siege equipment. A good trebuchet will do major damage to those ancient walls, and thanks to our Lady Ambassador... Lady Cyril of Jader was pleased to lend the Inquisition her sabers. They've already delivered the trebuchets. That is the good news. And the bad news? Eremond called the ritual at the Western Approach a test. He may already be raising his army of demons in the fortress. The Inquisition forces can breach the gate, but if the Wardens already have their demons... I found records of Adamant's construction. There are choke points we can use to limit the field of battle. That's good. We may not be able to defeat them outright, but if we cut off reinforcements, we can carve you a path to Warden Commander Clorel. It sounds like our best option. It'll be hard fought, no way around it. But we'll get that gate open. It's also possible that some Wardens may be sympathetic to our cause. The Warriors may be willing to listen to reason, though I doubt they will turn against Clorel directly. The Mages, however, are slaves to Corypheus. They will fight to the death. We've built the siege engines and readied our forces, Inquisitor. Give the word, and we march on Adamant. <laughs> 